All right, it's Kyle Kyle's Tracks and Trails. I hope you have a great evening. From this bushcraft shed to this tree is more than 25 feet. Usually, or in my case, I always use a 25 feet quick deploy ridge line. And I've been using a no knot one. But it's too damn short to get from there, from the bushcraft shed, to this tree. This is where this comes in handy. This is my one toggle ridge line. Nothing else is up but that one toggle. And of course, a bowling. The only knot that's going to be on here is this bowling. And of course this, because in case I drop the toggle, it don't come right on off. And I'll show you how to use it. I got to pick up my ridge line now, and you'll see what my problem is. Sometimes when we're in the woods, we run into that problem. Maybe our tree's a little bit more further than 25 feet. I would recommend carrying an extra 25 feet worth of a paracord with a bowl in with the toggle drilled right through there. You can connect it however you want to use knots. I have found that once you get to doing that, if you tighten there, those knots get very tight and hard to undo. Like the blood knot or the fisherman's knot, where you want to call. So all I'm going to do, give myself a little bit of slack here, is I'm going to take this bowling loop and I'm going to attach it right to this toggle. Just like that. There we go. And my persistent knot is right there. Kind of far to see because it's black. So we now have that bolding onto this toggle, that loop. All I'm going to do is come, hold on to this, wrap around the tree just like you normally would. Remember, this is no knot ridge line. This adds that no knot. So I'm going to take this like I'm doing. Maybe I should turn you guys around here so you can see this. Now it's the tree I'm talking about. So we're going to take it like that. Taking the toggle with me. Let me get you back around now. Hopefully right where we can see. There we go. Tighten it up a little bit more. Drag you in closer. That's about the way it goes when you make a video. I don't want to see two people with this. There we go. Now, as I have to do, still have this. Take my toggle with. And I'm just going to let it hang or drop. Then what it does. Sometimes it just drops. Now, I'm going to take this. Like I normally would, pinch it around this toggle. I'm going to move my, per my persistic here. There we go. Stick it to the persistic. I have this pinched here. A little bit more out there. And then I'm just going to pull. At least I hope I am. All right, let me try that again. For some reason, I have problems with this part, so bear with me. Turn it back out. We'll try the other way. Pinch it this way. There you go. This, like this, like this. I should just go pull. There we go. Yeah, you kind of have to watch which way you're pinching around this toggle, otherwise, it don't want to pull. Let me kind of turn you here. And we got this. And now I can just, just like that. And I have enough tight enough ridge line I can work with. I can tighten it up some more. Let me tighten it up some more.
All right, there we go. That's the toggle we use to tighten everything up. And just like always, I would wrap around my hand, make it look neat, and I'll be wrapped around there. Let me turn you around so I can show you what I got going on here. This is the one, remember my bowling knot, is with this toggle. To undo this, I'm going to take this other toggle and I'm going to pull it that way. Remember, you pull it that way to loosen it back up. There we go. That's all I got to do. Now I can take it. Let me get you a little bit more like that. Put you right through. So kind of tight, but that's all right. And it's undone. Now all I have to do, take the toggle that I was using. And you can see it kind of got a mess here, but that's all right. Just take it, get out of there, and there we go. Now there is something I want to show you. I'm going to drag you in close so you can see this. It involves this persistent knot. And you saw how easy that was to get undone over a knot tightening on you when you're cranking things down. But there's something I want to show you. Move you over here. Now this was held on there so tight that this is difficult to move. Just come here like this. Do you guys see this part? When you're wrapping it, you just take it and you just play with it. That's all you do. And there you go. Now you can move it. When you're pulling that way a real bunch, that will tighten up. Just take it and kind of undo it, and there you go. All right, well, this is Kyle Cow's Tracks and Trails. If you like what you see in this video, please hit the thumbs up. And, of course, subscribe to me for those that already aren't, for those that are, thank you. And also hit the all notification bell when we get notified. Another thing we can do is we can leave a comment. I do appreciate and enjoy the comments while they're not off each other. And of course we can share the video out and try to get the views up there. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.